Well, the winner of the Parliamentary Citizenship Health Award is Northampton Saints. This is a great program. It's a very innovative program. It's been running now for about six years. And uh, we liked it. We liked it the way it involved uh, children in schools, particularly younger children, before they take up smoking. Basically, it's about making sure that children don't take up smoking and make the link between health and not smoking and playing sport. The winner of this year's Parliamentary Citizenship Award for her Education was Bath Rugby for Language Through Sport. They're, ha they're helping to reverse the a trend in this country at the moment which has seen teaching of languages decline and they're using the power of sport, and in rugby in particular, uh, to do that. The winner of the Participation Award this year is Saracens. Now the reason they've got this is because they've got a fantastic community dance programme. Yeah, they've targeted and engaged uh, what they call semi-sporty girls, who are the girls who are less sporty and not likely to be engaged in formal sports. And they've engaged lots of them, 20,000. It's really impressive. The winner of this year's uh, award for Social Inclusion Programme of the Year is Bristol Rugby. A very, very targeted programme directed very specifically at youngsters targeted them exactly the right time just before they start reaching uh, the danger points if you like and I think there's a real understanding of where that intervention point could possibly be most effective. Worcester Warriors received a commendation for their uh, NPower tag programme in the social inclusion category. Activated and uh, the partners who delivered that programme alongside Worcester Warriors and reached a very uh, wide uh, sector of the population in bringing tag rugby to the youngsters in that area. The winner of this year's 2010 Parliamentary Citizenship Award is Bristol. Just the most sensational programme. The toughest thing is when you decide you're going to take on those kids that don't like school, tricky family lives, you know, always just at the cusp of going inside or being at Her Majesty's pleasure or annoying the police or the fire brigade night in, night out. They dovetailed in what their aims and objectives were. They've done it and they can roll this programme out across Bristol and, and the suburbs and so on. It's very clean, very simple and Two, two organisations, the Fire Brigade and Rugby, coming together and really, really solving something that you know, we can't do as a government, nor can local education authorities.